Are you kidding me? Oh my God, look what Fig just did. Hi, my name is Maddie. This is Fig. She's got poop on her face. Excuse me, little lady. And my life is a mess. So if you're new here, hello and welcome. I document my eating disorder recovery story, my life, what I've been up to. Um, and in today's video, I'm doing a big grocery haul. So as many of you know from my previous video, I've just moved into my new apartment and this is my second day here. So this video is, I guess I'm posting it like three weeks after I've moved in, but I need to do a lot of videos because I'm not gonna be filming for a while. So I'm trying to bulk film so I don't have to for a while. So long story short, you're gonna be seeing this way in the future, but anyway. And I'm going grocery shopping for the first time for this apartment. So I thought that I will show you all the groceries I bought because see, people seem to be interested in that. Um, I actually like watching grocery haul videos. So yeah, for the past um, two nights, I've been living off of pre-made meals or not pre-made, but like I bought like a piece of salmon that was really cooked and just like a salad. And um, I haven't bought things like olive oil or butter or milk or like just the staples like salt, pepper. Basically, I'm starting fresh in a whole new apartment. So this is gonna be a huge grocery haul. <laughs> so I thought it'd be fun to show you all. Um, yeah, so I gotta get some stuff for Fig. She loves her bananas, she loves her apples, she loves her spinach. Um, she's currently just hiding out here. So, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'll bring you along for the grocery shop, or if I'm just gonna go grocery shopping and then show you what I get, but I hope you find it interesting. And I guess it'll take a few seconds to talk about this. So, I am now almost a year and a half into recovery. I have been weight restored. I'm still gaining weight, not thrilled about that, but um, I'm not with a dietitian anymore. I'm kind of just following my body hunger cues. Um, although it's hard, you know, when I've just eaten and you're like, you're hungry, but I don't want to eat because I don't want to gain more weight, but I, I know I should keep eating because my body's hungry and I don't want to mess with those hormones and those signals. I still don't have my period back yet. So we're working on that. Um, I'm kind of going to keep gaining weight until I sort of get my period back. Um, that might be, that's just what I've been told is what I'm supposed to do. So I'm just going to be getting, I have a big grocery list, but even things like tin foil, saran wrap. I don't like to use plastic wrap, but it's kind of just nice to have on hand. Um, tin foil I also don't use very often, but again, it's kind of just something that's nice to have. Garbage bags, um, olive oil. I don't actually really use butter, so maybe I will get butter. I mean, like, it's not like I'm never going to go grocery shopping again, but this is just kind of like my first big food shop. Um, yeah, obviously lots of fruits and vegetables. I want to get... I want to get some, you know, treat things. I also want to be, have a bit of fun and try and find things that I've never really had before. Um, this is my first time in my own place, so it's kind of fun just to know everything that's going to be in the shelves. But I'll give you guys a tour of the kitchen and show you what I have already. So this is my kitchen. <laughs> this is stuff that I've taken from home. So I have, this is whole grain flour, then I have oats, um, pasta, and that's Vector cereal back there. Um, I've got some glasses. This is pretty full already. I've got just some tea, smoked honey, Keurig pods, bowls. This is also really old stuff from my house that I just stole. I'm pretty sure this is actually expired. Yeah, best before April 2022, so that's still fine. Almond butter doesn't go bad. Um, this I've also had for a very long time. Best before November 21st is that 22nd of November 2021? I don't know. Honey doesn't go bad, so we'll still have that, maybe. I don't know. Um, I have took this from my other house, too. Coconut spray. Um, what else? Oh, I have some stuff in this. This is, again, stuff that I've stolen. <laughs> so I have some leftover dates. Um, these wraps. Chocolate chips. A can of tuna. Some croutons. Little chocolates. And this is, like... Uh, coconut and then some packs of rice panko breadcrumbs and this is my box of treats that I will show you all so when I'm feeling like a dessert oh, this is stevia that's not dessert little bottle of alcohol and then I have these Tony's chocolate bars which are kind of nice some protein bars this is gummy sushi that I've had forever but I wasn't going to throw it away and nobody in my other house is going to eat it so 
I have this little box. Um, and then so far I've got this drawer of stuff, um, random stuff, um, for things for my Breville oven, which I have not yet used. Then I have some cereals here. I've been obsessed with this almond granola. Puffin cereal is definitely like an 80 thing, but this was just a sealed box. Again, um, ex almost expired. Like I bought these things that I never ate in my other house. So I just brought them with me because I don't think anybody else is gonna eat them. <laughs> um, I have this huge thing of ghost protein powder that I've never tried or even opened. And I'm just kind of waiting. I don't know why I have that. Some alcohol for when I have friends over. Um, this is nothing so far. This is just plastic bags for garbage. Some pots and bowls. Then I have my garbage. My dishwasher, which I probably won't ever use, but I'm currently using it as a drying rack. Um, I think that's everything. And then I have my fridge, which so far just has like one thing of frozen bread. And that's about it. So that is my kitchen tour. So now we're going to go get the groceries and then I'll show you all the things I buy and maybe I'll do some like b-roll footage but for now that's it and we'll say goodbye to little Fee. Let's see if she'll come over. Come here. But oh, she's being stubborn. So I'm just gonna go to her and bother her. Hi. She's so cute. Look at her with her. She has like one good eye. This eye is a good one. And then this one is the one that's not so great right now. I know. I know, I know, I know. I love her. Okay. Let's see if she does the thing when she wants to be pet, she'll shove her head under. She's currently licking me. Hi. Okay, let's go grocery shopping. One eternity later. Okay, I'm back with so many groceries. I'm gonna show you. So I will go through and point everything out, but I'm just gonna give a go big overall of everything that I got because I spent almost over, I went to two different grocery stores and I spent over $300 in total on all these groceries. Mind you, this is like, I've got like laundry detergent, garbage bags, olive oil, things that I'm not gonna get every time I go, but here it is. Holy crap, that's a lot of food. Um, kind of anxious about it, just seeing it all, um, but we'll just go through it and I'll give you an update on everything that I got. So, as I do this, I'm also going to put stuff in the fridge. So we'll start with proteins. So I got lean ground beef, some chicken breasts. I got some Tex-Mex cheese. I got some 0% um, fat plain Greek yogurt because I'm using this as a protein, not a fat source. Then we have some chicken bacon, which I've been kind of obsessed with recently, like crunching it up and putting it in salads. Um, some light feta. I realized I should have got full fat feta, but um, I'm still challenging cheese. Cheese is a hard one for me, but at least we've got it. I uh, have some eggs. I don't eat eggs very often, so I only got six. I got some hummus. This is my favorite kind of hummus. It's like whipped, so it's really yummy. Um, what was another protein? I got some more protein. Oh, ricotta, ricotta cheese. Really great on toast. Um, was that all my protein? I think so. Um, that's my protein. So I like to have protein with every single meal. So breakfast is usually the Greek yogurt. Lunch is usually turkey slices, which are right here. Got some turkey slices. Um, I used to be really scared of like cold cuts just because of like all the things that people say about them, but you know what? They taste good and they're super easy just to throw in a sandwich. Very good. Um, fruits and vegetables. Got this big thing of iceberg lettuce. Got this giant thing of spinach that I will be sharing with Fig. There's that stuff. Um, vegetables. I got some zucchini. And then I also bought this bowl because I don't have a mixing bowl yet. And I got two avocados, which aren't quite ripe yet, so we're gonna wait for that. Three apples. I only like apple crisp apples, so if you're ever gonna buy me an apple, make sure that it's a honey crisp. So 
besides that um blueberries and strawberries which i go through like i'll probably take three days to go through this maybe two um what else i got grapes these um i like green grapes oh these don't even look that good there's like a little dead one in there let's just take that out now i don't want you mr grape look at that that is look at the difference between those two grapes look at that look at that that's like a raisin at this point should i eat it do you dare me to eat it i'm not gonna eat it um what other fresh stuff now that i think of it i didn't actually get that much fresh stuff um uh what else did i get okay this is all we've done i did get these two salad kits so this is chipotle ranch and this one is dried cranberry sliced almond um i know i can just like buying all the individual ingredients is just much cheaper but for the first little bit i'm just gonna be really lazy um i realize if i'm trying to save money doing this is not the best thing to do because you know if you were to go and buy what is in this quinoa um cranberries almonds oh crap is there cilantro in this i actually hate cilantro parsley no that's okay okay um i know if i were just get the individual ingredients and like make five big salads like they'd all come down to be cheaper but for this week, I've told the fig. She just pooped on the floor. Fig! Are you kidding me? Oh my God, look what fig just did. Oh my God. Oh my God, she just tried to get in this. Fig, what the Oh Jesus Christ. I cannot believe she just did this. Are you okay at least? Are you okay? Oh my God, that's I guess my fault. I had this, it's like leaning on it. Oh, f All right, I'm gonna clean this all up and I'll get back to you. A few moments later. Okay, it's been like half an hour. <laughs> I've repotted things and been scouring the carpet but it still looks muddy. So I'm gonna finish filming the video and then deal with this because my groceries need to be refrigerated and I'm trying not to cry right now. <laughs> this is gonna take me a while. So back to filming, <laughs> I'll set it up. I also got Dr. Pepper, but this is currently my tripod. Obviously I need to fasten things better because things are gonna fall down. So, um, where were we? Okay, um, I already showed you these. I'm gonna put them in the fridge. I already showed berries. Oh, I didn't show these. Um, I got pre-made, I'm sorry if I'm like not in a great mood right now. I was all jolly before, but I got this plain chicken cutlet and coconut shrimp for way too much money. Um, I started out the grapes and put these in the fridge. Um, this is a dressing I got that also needs to be refrigerated. It's ranch dressing. I just ranch dressing. Um, I just really like this one from Summerhill. Mustard. If you're a fan of Dijon grainy mustard, this is the brand to get. Um, looks like this. I've ripped off the tag, but this is what you need to get. It is so good. Um, I got some pickles. What is that? My butt looks huge. Oh my God. I'm not in a good mood. Um, this also needs to be refrigerated almond milk. This is my favorite kind, my favorite brand, the sweetened one. Um, I do like it sweetened for coffee, so almond milk. And then I got, I've never tried these before, but they look good. Um, tortilla wraps with like spinach in them. I don't think they're like, I don't want to label healthy and not healthy, but I don't know, maybe the fact that there's um, spinach and that makes me feel less bad although there are still like a million ingredients which I try to avoid like that's the ingredient list but for now whatever we're having these tortilla wraps um I got these veggie chips in case I get snacky and hungry I really like these ones um these also have kind of a lot of ingredients but that's fine veggie chips 
And then I got some um, almonds, blanched almonds. So I'll put those. I'm just looking at my carpet. Oh my God. <sighs> almonds, sliced almonds to toast and put in salads for flavor. And we're not scared of nuts anymore. We are scared of nuts, but I got a lot. The rest of the stuff is all fear foods. So not all of it, some of it, but challenging fear foods all the time. So we got some canned things. I got this no salt added cream of mushroom soup. This is like super thick. So if you want to like bake it with chicken, it's kind of nice. Sometimes you use this actually as like pasta sauce. I got some canned corn to put in salads. I got some canned peas to put in salads. I got some beans to put in salads. Lots of salad -y stuff. I got this Joe beef barbecue rub. I've never tried this before, but I don't really have a lot of spices and I thought this sounded good. So I got some spices. Got some artificial vanilla because even though I'm buying pre-made foods, real vanilla is more expensive than artificial. But you know what? This is good for like oatmeal sometimes if I'm ever baking. So I got our vanilla. Oh shit. I got butter, unsalted butter, so that should be in the fridge. Um, these I've found recently and these probably aren't the best thing to get because they are low calorie, but they're these like grab and go muffins. So they look like that. This is the banana chocolate chip flavor and this is the blueberry flavor. So if I'm ever like snacking, just want some carbs, these are really good. So these two muffin thingies, I have tried to remake these before and I can't, but they're like $5 each, which is a lot. What else? Um, I got some raspberry jam, which is good. I like this kind. I'm saving like fun stuff. I got olive oil, extra virgin rich for like cooking. Always good to have olive oil. Um, teriyaki sauce, obviously for stir fries. Tofu is really yummy. So um, yeah, this is also good for chicken. I got some minced garlic because I don't like when my fingers smell like garlic even though my fingers now are like covered in dirt because I have not cleaned my hands yet because I'm gonna continue to scrub the floor. <sighs> okay. I love fake, but right now, I love her only. No, I love her still 100%. It wasn't her fault. She was just exploring. She was being curious. It's probably my fault for not, you know, like rabbit securing everything. Uh, it's in the past. She's fine. She's not hurt. It actually coincidentally, like it was like a basket like this and she climbed up. The way it fell, like trapped her in it, as you saw. Minced garlic. Um, ketchup. I got low sodium, I don't know why. I, I'm definitely someone that falls for like low sodium, low salt, low sugar, low blah, 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 blah. You know what, I just got this ketchup. I like ketchup, okay? It's not organic, it's not free range, gluten free, vegan. I'm in a pissy mood now, as you can tell. I did get low sodium soy sauce. I also find low sodium though, I have a habit of adding salt to everything anyway. So when you get low sodium, then things aren't always over salted. I don't know. Balsamic vinegar. Um, I like balsamic vinegar for like obviously salads. When I say salads, I'm not like only eating salads. I do like, or I am, but I do like thick salads, you know? Anyway. Um, again, another gimmicky thing that I'm falling for, but green lentil pasta. 18 grams of protein. Never tried this one. I'll let you know. I got some tea. This is my absolute favorite kind of tea. It is um, peppermint and creamy vanilla. Winnings brand. If you have this wherever you are, it's so good. Love this one. I think this is decaffeinated too. Naturally caffeine free. Yeah. Um, then boring stuff. I got dishwasher, dishwasher. Andre shit. Ziploc bags, saran wrap and aluminum foil, garbage bags. Um, I've never tried these, but these are Dolce de Leche curing pods. Curing pods are not super great for the environment. I have nothing to say to that, except that I probably shouldn't buy them, but I am. Kill me, sue me, whatever. Um, I got these Jellos. They're not jello, but they're pudding, 50 calories each. Uh, again, low calorie. I don't know why I'm doing this, getting low calorie shit, but you know what? There's no excuse. I should not be buying that stuff, but I did.
but this counteracts it. Whole bag of chocolate chip cookies. These ones are really yummy. They're made from Summerhill, at Summerhill. Then I also got, I'm gonna have this tomorrow night, a cupcake. So that's a fair food. Um, at the checkout, she gave me this chocolate. So I have that little chocolate one day. And then these are my absolute favorite snacky things, these naked bars. These are really yummy. So I got the caramel, salty caramel and um, coconut chocolate. Very good. Then, oh, I did get this as one we have for dinner tonight with probably the chicken cutlet. Do I want that for dinner? Yeah, I'll have that for dinner. This is a Granny Smith salad with blue cheese, Granny Smith apple, spinach, um, candy pecans, and like a honey mustard dressing. So I'll have this tonight with chicken and then maybe something for dessert. And then I don't have, I have no idea what these are, but I saw these. They're called Choco Rooms, sweet and crispy. Milk and dark chocolate combination with a crispy cracker, and they look like that. So that's gonna happen for one day for dessert. That was not proper English. So those are all my groceries. I'm going to not properly put them away because I want to finish cleaning that carpet now. So yeah, that was my big ass grocery haul. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't want to do anything now. <clears throat> okay. So I'm gonna put this stuff away, clean my carpet, and that's all for today's video, and I got the Dr. Pepper that I'm looking at right now. Um, my socks are probably super dirty. Look how dirty my socks are. <sighs> brand new, no one's lived in this apartment before, absolutely brand new, and now there's dirt everywhere. Okay, see you later. Bye bye